building uh, is a dream come true. And I can hardly believe it, but honestly, it was this whole community and everybody who supported us, both within the community and outside the community, um, who have made this a reality. We are so lucky. I'm in humbled, I'm in awe, and I'm so grateful for everybody who's, who's made this the best cancer support center anybody could hope for. Welcome to the Georgian Bay Cancer Support Center, a home away from home for all our cancer patients in our community to find strength and courage as they battle their cancer diagnosis. We have an Aboriginal artist locally here who created this beautiful painting. major activity room, multi-purpose, all rooms are multi-purpose. This will be for exercise. Um... The feeling that it was our home, we weren't being told how it should be, they listened to us. The plans were perfect. When it came to the built, it was absolutely incredible. And I give such credit to Sandra Baldwin, who is our board chair now. She took on this building project with all her heart and soul and worked with the most amazing team from Royal. And Royal Homes gave us all the support we needed. Anytime we had an issue, they were there for us. They realized our financial challenges and they were willing to work with us, which was just a gift in itself. The kitchen is going to be a very busy place soon, now that we can start to open. But we've got this beautifully designed kitchen. Royal Homes has worked with us and created the most efficient, most beautiful home for our members that we could ever hope for. And we couldn't be more pleased. The design of the building allows for so much natural light that uh, it creates this feeling of hope. Everything is wheelchair accessible uh, because often members will be uh, in a wheelchair. a support room, um, a quiet room for members who are going through a difficult time and just need some one-on-one -on -one emotional support. This will also be a wig fit room. We are very fortunate to have several donated wigs. We also have quilts in this cabinet that are given to our members uh, who come for the first time and are at the beginning of their journey. I drive home sometimes in tears because people would talk about how important the center was to them and they often said I, I would never get through this journey if it wasn't for the Cancer Support Center. This is my lifeline. And they didn't even know I was the founder. <laughs> My dream is not just my dream, it's the dream of the community, it's the dream of Royal Homes, it's the dream of everybody who's contributed to this reality. And I am grateful and humble and I thank you all.